Your news on the go. Well, for a half a dozen districts around the region, it's the first day of back to school. Yeah, it's the first day for these districts. Auburn, Cato, Meridian, Jordan, Elbridge, as well as Marcellus and Port Byron. It's also the first day for Fayetteville Manlius, but only for grades K through 9th. And law enforcement officials are reminding you to mind your speed in those school zones and always stop, of course, when a school bus uses their stop arm sign, as you can be fined if you pass that illegally. Have a great first day if you're headed back. Keep it safe. Well, didn't the state fair end with another bang? It broke another all-time attendance record for the fourth straight year. 1,329,275 people passed through the gates during the fair's 13-day run this year. That makes the New York State Fair now the third most attended fair in the whole U.S. of A. On its busiest day, this past Saturday, the fair became the fifth largest city in the state of New York. Well, state police had put you on the lookout for the thief who cracked into state fair vending machines last week, and now he is in custody, caught at the scene of the crime. Now, state police say this man milked at least two vending machines during the fair in the Dairy Cattle Building, and photos snapped by an observant vendor alerted the machine's owner. That thief came back to the grounds yesterday where he was arrested. Well, you may have heard it. Thousands did, and they let us know about it. Last night, just after 5, a sonic boom. Well, it was real, and it, it, it was accompanied by a flash that looked something like this. The American Meteor Society is investigating a fireball sighting in the Syracuse area late yesterday afternoon. They say a meteor, larger and brighter than normal, entered the atmosphere somewhere over Lake Ontario and created that sonic boom. No danger to the public. But it was loud. All right, here's a health alert we, we've been telling you about for probably two weeks. Aerial Spring in the Cicero Swamp area is still scheduled for tonight after 6 o'clock. Now, the County Health Department is working to reduce the number of mosquitoes carrying dangerous diseases like Tripoli and West Nile. Spring, of course, is weather dependent, but if you're in the spray zone, stay indoors, keep those pets inside, and keep your windows closed. Kate. Kate, it is weather dependent. Winds, will they be okay tonight? Yeah, well, you know, they have had zero luck with that lately. And, you know, I think they might be able to be okay today. We really shouldn't have any rain around. The wind should not be too bad. I think they'll be able to get it in tonight, which is good. This is what it looks like over Morrisville right now. We are cloudy. We've had a little bit of fog, but that is starting to lift. It is currently 61 degrees. We do have some fog reported at the Syracuse Airport, but live Doppler 9 is pretty quiet right now. We'd not be surprised if maybe we see one or two very spotty occasional showers today. But for the most part, we are keeping things rain free, cloudy, breaks of sunshine later today. Our highs in the mid to upper 70s, if we're lucky, will hit 80. For tonight, clouds moving back in. We have rain thunderstorms developing right around this time tomorrow. Lows in the 60s. Tomorrow we have 70s for highs. We have rain and thunderstorms, and then we'll get some afternoon sunshine in here. That cold front's going to bring in some cooler, drier air for the second half of our week. Thursday, Friday looks nice. The weekend, not bad, especially if Dorian stays out of our way, then we should be just fine. All right. Well, you can stay on top of the weather anytime. You know, in the news as well, if you have the News Channel 9 app. If you don't have it, download it right now. Search WSYR in the App Store or Google Play. Well, if you're headed out to school, or wherever, get into the bus stop for those districts that are opening today. Have a great first day back at school. Be careful, everybody else. Watch out for the school buses and the kids. And Good Morning America is next right here.